I love working and I put a lot of my self validation into my work and what I do. But I realized no matter how many goals I'll set, okay, I'll set a goal, I'll reach it. I kind of feel the same. It's like, okay, cool for the moment, but it's like, all right, go to the next goal, I reach it. Okay, I, I did that, what's next? Have I not told you how proud of you I am? A bunch, and, and it means everything to me. That's only half the story. Okay, well, the other half I'm trying to ignore and move on from. Then I'm mad at you. What? Why? Because it is so unfair that you're just trying to brush over and move on from the biggest thing that's ever happened to us. Us? You qualified for the Olympics. <laughs> I probably define success as like feeling accomplished, knowing that like what you've worked for, like put in the work to do, um, it has finally been completed and you feel good about it and you feel happy about it. So I, I would say, yeah, feeling accomplished is probably my definition of success. I'm learning that true success is when you can look at yourself in the mirror and just say, I'm proud of you simply for existing. And when you can tell yourself that you have overcome all of these challenges and you're here still standing today, I feel like that's what success is. Especially in this industry, you know, success, that's all you think about is I need to make it, I need to make it. And I, just like Chloe said, you know, I'll go to Instagram. You want a thousand followers, you get there. It's not enough. Now I want 2000. It's always going to be like that. So I had to learn the hard way, especially in 2020, like being content where you're at and actually accomplishing what you set your goal to is a success in itself. I mean, I'm Latina and I'm work, working in Hollywood. What? That's a, that's a success, you know? Um, I, I, I beat the stereotype. I think, you know, success for me is one of those things. It's like I say, I wake up and I'm an affirmations type of guy because at one point I didn't know who I was. So I get up and, and it's that understanding to me that success is a mindset that, that I must commit to. So you, you consistently create this growth mindset about things because typically the success is, you know, measured by the um, physical, materialistic, but it's so much more than that. And I think that's what a lot of us have, have hinted at but being an ever growing learner to me is success in, in all ways, shapes, or forms. You guys are in college now, and of course you're supposed to be thinking about the next moment, but what about when you guys were applying and you wanted it so bad? You know what I'm saying? Look at you now. And I'm, you know, I'm very faith-based. I, I believe that my higher power that I believe in is gonna allow me to do that. And I believe in myself through that. So I think remembering is a, is a huge thing. Don't forget who you are and don't forget why you got to the place that you did. I was gonna, I'm gonna go off of that remembering. I, uh, I keep a journal with me and maybe a few weeks or months have passed and I just flip through the pages and I look at that journal entry and I start laughing. I'm like, oh my gosh, like this was on my mind and I start re remembering, like Diggy just said, like, oh my God, like I just, I got through all of this. I, I feel like I'm in a better place now than I was in high school or even last year, just because I've kind of shifted my perspective on what I believe to my success to be. And for me, it's just whatever I do to pursue my why. And for me, my why is like empathy and equity is like my two favorite words. And whatever I can do to like fulfill that or go towards that and really fill my cup with that and help others, that's just successful to me and like in my own way. And I hope you guys take all of those little successes into heart and, and, and remember them when um, times get tough and, and your time gets challenged because it's really, really, really challenging um, the older you get and the more um, you succeed in your career and in your personal life.